good morning dear students uh, we are studying the chapter the sentence and in the previous class we have studied about what is a sentence and uh, the difference between a sentence and a, a phrase okay so here we are going to study next we are going to study is about the subject and the predicate okay so in the previous class we studied that the, there is a verb in the sentence is it so here we can we are going to see what are the different uh, parts of the sentence that is a uh, subject and uh, predicate so for example the sentence like the, the dog is barking so this is a sentence and uh, this sentence can be divided into two parts two categories that is uh, subject and uh, the predicate okay the subject means the doer of the action so whatever we see like in a sentence we studied that there is a verb and uh, the verb represents an action so there is an action in this sentence and uh, the see like here we can say that the dog is barking so is barking is the uh, verb here so he is uh, making some noise so barking is it okay so we have to ask the question who is barking okay so then the answer that we get is the, the dog okay so we can divide this sentence into two parts that is the dog and the is barking okay so this part which is showing the doer of the action who is performing the action so that part of the sentence is called as the subject so here this part is called as the subject and the remaining portion is called as the predicate okay so there are the one sentence can be divided into two parts that is a subject and a predicate and the one who is doing the action is considered as the subject and the remaining portion is considered as the predicate so there are two parts subject and predicate okay so a sentence can be divided into two parts okay the subject is the person animal or thing we speak about the predicate is what we say about the subject and the predicate always contains a verb so here the subject is the is the person animal or thing we speak about the so like here we speak about the dog so this is the animal that we speak about who we are speaking about that is called as the subject the dog and about what what the uh, the predicate is what we say about the subject about the dog what is the dog doing if you ask then uh, this barking okay so and uh, there will be a verb so there is a, uh, another feature is that uh, there will be a verb so here is barking is the verb in the sentence okay so there there are a few examples given there like the the fierce dog is barking fierce is a adjective given about the dog i have passed the examination so i have passed the examination so how passed the examination is the predicate and i is the subject the next one we went on a picnic we is the subject there and the went on a picnic is the predicate here. we can find the subject by finding the verb and asking the question who or what so in this sentence in order to understand what is the subject we have to ask a question the verb that who or what so here the dog is barking so if you ask a question who is barking or what is barking we get the answer as the dog so if it is an animal or uh, anything then we can ask the question as what and if it is a person or uh, then uh, we can ask it as sir who okay so if you ask this question and what answer that we are getting is the subject thing. okay so there are some examples given there the uh, there are few sentences are there like the girl sang well the girl who sang well the girl sang well so the girl is the uh, sub, uh, predicate sorry subject and the sang well is the predicate next one our house is around the corner so our house is the subject in that and is around the corner is the predicate ants spoiled the picnic ants who spoiled the picnic ants and so we get is that so ants spoiled the picnic we were very late for the film who were late we so we is the subject there and were late very late for the film is the predicate there. my right eye is twitching so he says that uh, uh, my right eye that is the subject and the remaining portion is the predicate the book with the yellow cover the book 
with the yellow cover. So here you can find that most of the time we get a one or two words are only there in the subject. But here we can find that uh, there is a long paragraph or a long uh, many words are there in the subject. Like the book with the yellow cover. So with the yellow cover is the description about the book. So the book is the actual subject there and uh, uh, there is something description about the book is also given there. So that will also be the part of the subject. So you can say that the book with the yellow cover is torn. So is torn is the predicate name. The flowers in the vase, the flowers in the vase, that which is the subject, are called marigold. So that are called marigold, that is a predicate. The shop in the corner has the best cookies. The shop in the corner, that much will come as the subject. Okay, so this is about the subject and the predicate. Then next we have to study is about the objects of the verbs. Read the sentences given below. The subject in each sentence has highlighted. <coughs> Radha Rani plays cricket. So here if you ask Radha Rani is the subject there. So there will be an uh, object there. This shop sells wrapping papers. Or Sophie saw the giant. So there are two, three sentences there. Now read each sentence once again and ask the question. What or uh, whom after the verb or uh, doing verb. We will get another noun as the answer is. So the first one, Rani plays what? So who or what we have to ask to the question in the beginning then uh, we get the subject. Uh, then next we have to find out is the object. Who, who is getting the result of this one? So here Radha Rani plays what? So he play, she plays cricket. So we get the answer as uh, cricket. Next we are going to study. So we studied about the subject. Next one is that Radha Rani. So here, if you ask Radha Rani, place what? So then uh, we get this one as the answer. Cricket. So this is the object. So Radha Rani is the subject. So that we have studied in the previous, just before this one we studied that one who is doing the action. It's called as the subject. But now we are studying about the object. So one who is getting the result or uh, uh, is a component. So here we can say that the Radha Rani plays what? So here answer will get us a cricket. So that is the object. So the next two sentence is also there. Like that, this shop sells what? What this shop is selling? Wrapping paper. So the wrapping paper is the object. Sophie so whom? The giant. So the giant is the object. The noun which replies the question what or whom asked after the verb is known as the object of the verb. So that is the object of the verb. So here you can find there are uh, uh, fill in the subject, verb and object in the column uh, in the table after reading this. So here this is a So you can make a like a three columns like subject, verb, object. Okay. So you can divide it into three columns and uh, so object of the verb. Okay. So object of the verb is there. So the first one, Lalit would solve the sum. Okay. So first one, Lalit is the subject could solve. Is the verb there and uh, the sum is the answer of it. Okay, so here Lalit could solve the sum. So the Lalit is the subject there, he is the doer of the action, and could solve is the verb there, and solve is the main verb, could is the helping verb, and the sum. The sum is the result of it. So there are few sentences given there. You can uh, make a column like this, you can do it in your copy itself. So you can make a column. Now instead of writing the question, first you just write. Uh, one, two, three, like that. Question number we put up and uh, write this into like make it a column like this. Three columns are there, and then the way that way you make it and uh, write it in your 
uh, fair copy. Okay, so you can make a copy for a English grammar, and uh, in that copy you can write. So I have told you that uh, what you have to write in the previous uh, chapter. I have told you uh, previous class. I have told you that you have to write it. Uh, write about the sentence. What is the sentence? The definition of the sentence you have to write in your copy. Then uh, uh, you can uh, write about uh, this. Uh, predicate subject and predicate what is the subject what is the predicate about that you can write in your copy and object of the verb what is object of the verb that you can write in your copy and this exercise also you can do it okay okay thank you so much